It's my like starting face. What's going on, people? Professor Fatshady, University of Trials, and I am. I'm on a mission. I mean, I'm on the same mission I've been on the whole way through. But as you can see here, I got three golds left. I don't like those. I kind of think I want to hit basketball first. And I heard today that helium could be the thing. So I'm going to start with this. And then I think I'm just going to sit here and grind out a uh, loose screw again. So losing the counter kind of sucks. Damn it. So does anybody know? How do you bring the counter back? Like, uh, Guten Tag. Slipknot, what's going on? <clears throat> I figured I'd do this all over again. Oh. So there's got to be a some form of pattern or repeat, repeatable thing. So I'm just going a bit higher this time. Oh, oh. Oh, got it. Catch it! Oh. No! No! That was it! That was it! The tenth one! So that was really interesting. Uh, uh, okay, so uptime, I thought uptime was. Oh, you need to do. You, you put a. Don't put a space. Three minutes and 15 seconds and already almost the platinum and this is the interesting so helium definitely but what i realized is that after about four or five you just change your trajectory of your jump so instead of jumping sort of flat you just start jumping higher and higher and higher all i've got to do is figure out that 10th one i feel like that was something i could do somewhat consistently so i'm actually i'm feeling pretty good about this Now, oh, that, that was a dunk. <laughs> I was just going to say, feeling good about this? It usually means an hour of horrible grindiness is about to happen. Oh, my. Oh no, I tried to drop it in because I thought I was going over the back. Tortilla, what's going on? <clears throat> I kind of feel like I need to just put this effort in and get get these out of the way. Or get this one out of the way at least. I mean, I hate this skill game. Don't, don't take... Oh, nice. 
Don't take me playing this as an endorsement of this being fun. Oh. Teeny. Angelo, good to have you back. Oh, it's going to take a while, but yeah, this, uh, I feel like we've already had a breakthrough. Not there, we haven't. Does anybody just ask, are you streaming today? During a stream. I don't know how to respond to that. <sighs> oh, did that go through? It did. Catch it, catch it. No. Yeah, okay. Teeny, maybe what you've failed to, I mean, failed to realize is that I don't live in your time zone. <laughs> the last is right. I'm streaming. No, I'm streaming tomorrow. Yeah. No. Okay. So you're saying, am I streaming today? And my answer is no, I'm streaming tomorrow. But what that means is that it is 9.30 p.m. on Saturday for me right now. So if I'm streaming today, I'm literally going to be streaming from now until the end of today. For me. I'm not going to explain time zones. <clears throat> okay. Um. Yeah, no. So my my deal is this. I I have a very. Oh, did it go through? It didn't. That I uh, rigged. Um. I have a stream schedule that I very. I try and stick to, which is basically to do, to stream on a Friday. Um, but outside of that, I can kind of just stream whenever I feel like. Does that kind of make sense? So if it's Monday and I feel like streaming, I will. As is my right. Ah, catch them. <clears throat> yeah, so pretty much any other day of the week, um, I can choose to stream, but I'll, um, yeah, not promise that I'll even stream trials. I think my... Now, that ginger juice was a one-time deal. That's, I'm out. I only had four bottles of juice. Of that one, anyway. Now I'm back to my apple. Oh, I missed it. Come on. Um. But I will. Uh, no, it's just Slipknot. I heard that. Actually, oh, look. I someone someone on Twitter I think mentioned today that this is that helium is better. I don't know why. Not going to try and figure it out, but I've just got a, I got a PB within my first three minutes of streaming. So I kind of, I figure it can't be bad. <sighs> Did that go through? No way. So 
So a couple of weeks back when I was streaming this, I kind of figured out you could play around with a few things to con to get some control back, but oh. But oh, it's just a height. So how do I get the counters back? Because I really need to see how I'm doing. Oh, half the rim. Aren't you supposed to wait? Yeah, see. I mean, you tell me. I don't want to exit the track and re-enter. Screw it, we're just going to count. Yeah, Mantis for you. Whoops. It's pretty funny to just dunk yourself. Alright, one. Two. Two. One. 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 Two. Three. Four. However many that was. Catch it with your foot. <sighs> yeah, I've, I figured out like the timing. Well, I figured out the fact that you could manipulate the timing, but I just don't know if I need to. Oh, what? Maybe for the last ones. Oh, and Aetherius. It's absolutely the same ball. Oh. Mmm. Stylish. We did it. And now we're going for the record. Now we're going for the record because Shady has figured out the system. Shady's figured out the system. Shady's figured out the system. Shady missed it. Still, I figured out the system. GG's to me, please. <sighs> Another one down. Another one down. Let's... That's a good start. So how long about now? Now is when you want... 14 minutes, 13 seconds of streaming. Fantastic. I'm going to tweet that out. Whew. That gives me the excited. That gives me the excited. Thank you. Tweeting plats, absolutely. Gotta brag about them, man. Mm. But it was interesting. I like 
So this is the whole thing. I did not have to... <coughs> well, a theory is exactly, man. I, I'm, I, I don't think I've ever really... Well, no, that's not true. I've probably put in a little bit of effort on effort on that two or three times, but I just figured that out then. And look, you know what? I'm actually going to watch the replay and tell you. I'll tell you what I figured out because I just said then I figured out the system. So I did. Uh... No, I don't think I got diamond on it. Oh, no, I did. I got. Yeah, sorry. The video's going up tonight, but yeah, I did. So here's what I figured out. The effectively up until the first five you probably want a relatively short and shallow trajectory but each time uh toward the end i was just trying to go for the high launch right so what you're doing i'm sitting down and then i'm sort of bunny hopping and as i'm flicking my weight forward i'm bailing out at the top and what i'm getting is a really high arc but what that means is no matter where the ball goes you can kind of position yourself in the air look i just got a really high arc catch the ball up high in the air and then you can slow yourself down and bring yourself back so look i'm just trying to go as high as i can catch the ball and i was able to do that for look i mean look at it, it's the same thing right flick your body weight up bail out just at the peak go as high as you can to meet the ball regardless of where it is catch it and then you kind of slow yourself down and drop yourself back down on a quite a sharp angle back to the basket and that was pretty consistent up until up until then and i think let's see what i did on the on the on the one I missed, I might have just got the timing wrong. Yeah, I just got the timing wrong of the jump, or I would have had that again. See, it almost it almost caught it. That feels repeatable. Yeah, I don't, don't, I mean, I guess, I guess it was muscle memory, but yeah. It's really just bail out at the top of that. I don't want... I'm just sitting here going, do I, do I try and get diamond on it? I don't think I care enough. Um... Harris, blood. What's going on? Uh, so what do we think? Oh, and we've got Mark La. Thanks for the GGs. <coughs> what do you... Um, yeah, six, and this is what I'm saying to you, right? You, you, you think about it, and you, I, like I thought that after it hits about five or six, you've kind of got to drastically change the technique. But... It, it, like, yeah, that was, that was the same thing. And I mean, I reckon I could have kept... I could have got Diamond with that exact same technique. So anyone better than me, um, even if I just sit here, and I reckon Diamond is actually easy with that technique. Weird. Um, yeah, I can get Diamond. Well, I, uh, diamond, easy, but I never take anything like that for granted. What do you reckon? Steel ball, loose screw. Steel ball, loose screw. For the rest of this week, still collecting money for Are You OK? Link in everywhere, the description of YouTube and below the channel here if you're on browser watching Twitch. Uh, yeah, both, but in which order? Dude, really? Loose, all right. Loose screw it is. <coughs> mm. Yeah, so my uh, Trials Wars... Platinum and diamond runs are in the video that's coming up in about three or four hours. Oops, forgot what I was doing. It's funny, after after the stream yesterday. Ah. Both of them suck hard. Um, yeah, it's it's this is gonna be a bit of a grind. Yeah, I think Lars, that's my hope. My hope is that I've you know, I did spend some time on this. But I got basketball way easier. Oh. Yeah, an instant restart here would have been nice. Mm. Okay, this could get... Uh... Well, you know what? I wasn't planning on streaming tonight. It's just that I kind of was sitting at home this afternoon... I gotta try not to be uh, impatient with this. 
I'm sitting here this afternoon thinking about this track. So I was like, you know what? I, th I don't think I'm going to stop thinking about it until I get this platinum. I may not get it tonight. Oh, but I'll feel better if I try. I will feel better if I try. Oh, sorry. One last thing. I gotta check leaderboards. What did that uh, basketball thing do for my score? Nice. 9.30. Alright, we climbing. We climbing. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't normally, because it's Saturday night for me, so normally I don't don't stream today. But I, uh, yeah. Ah, that was silly. <laughs> yeah, the problem with that, Lars, is like, yeah, I might be happy to say that, because uh, actually, I got Brad as last night. I should have actually sent it to him then. But Badger sends me his, and he's miles ahead. Now, my excuse is that he's doing a stream every week where he's just focusing on it. Technically, I kind of am too, but... I don't really want to admit that Badger's better than me. But his demolition day time was tough. And I, I don't have... Like... And this is the thing for me. To get the those kinds of times you've got to spend what an hour a couple of hours on each track potentially like i've probably got some easy pbs in there if i went looking for them um oh i hate this <clears throat> but yeah if, if i like yeah what have we got a hundred something tracks if i if i tried to do that it's you know 100 hours worth of time and this is the thing. I, I have talked about this before. <sighs> One feature, which I think would be amazing for this game, and I've shared this view at every possible opportunity. There should be a filter or a prompt or something. Oh, come on. I had that one. A filter or prompt or something that shows you, like, what what's the next track where my ranking is the lowest. Um, like, you know, th things like this. So, like, show me the track where my personal best is closest to the next medal. Show me the tracks where I am uh, furthest away from a ranking perspective. So, um... So, for example, right, let's say, for instance, I'm ranked, you know, 900 on one track and I'm ranked 4,000 on another track. Show me the track that's 4,000, which be, that should be an indicator to you to say, you know what, you can probably do better on this track. Or at least the, the effort that you'll have to put in on the 4,000 track to get a personal best is probably less than the effort on the track where you're 1,500, right? So highlight that for, like, help me. Help me find the easiest personal bests. That's what I want this game to do. That's what I want my trials to do. <clears throat> oh, T-Hill. Um, yep. I've passed on that feedback myself. Save. Ninja save. Oh, come on. Oh, ninja save again. <clears throat> After those two saves, I almost 
deserved to, like, I feel like I deserved to do better than that. Um, T Hill, a while back I would have said to you, probably last year, I would have said to you that I was going to have a chat and mention, I think it was you. I had the chat. I mentioned all of that data stuff. I don't think anything happened from... Well, I know nothing happened from it, but... I did my best. So, like, for example, when, when, when I gave feedback about the... You know how we've we now got filter by contract and filter by metal? I... I believe that was, ba I mean, certainly that happened after I gave feedback asking for specifically that, but some of the other stuff I was talking about was the things I just mentioned, which I was hoping was also part of it. Oh, I hate that landing. You might be right, T Hill, but the other thing is, with with all these types of things, it's a it's an investment decision, right? And, I, and now I'm not saying this is the case. I'm just saying, generally speaking, when I look at any of these things that we're asking for, so like to develop that will take effort, and there is always a and every every feature that you create, there's a trade off. All right, someone has to make a priority call. Someone has to say, all right, we're going to spend, you know, 10, 20, 50, 100 hours of someone's effort to build and test that thing. What are they going to spend the effort on? And it becomes a priority thing. It becomes a, you know, a commercial decision about, you know, we could spend that time, but we could do 10 things that are going to benefit 90% of the player base or we could do one thing that's going to benefit 5% of the player base what do you do so uh, from that perspective I think this is why it never happens Panther are you watching the game tomorrow oh stupid thing <clears throat> Yeah, but no, dude, I, look, I, I, I absolutely sat down and had a chat with... So it's tricky. I, I had a chat to the dude who actually is the right person to talk to about data, but probably not the right person to talk to around, you know, prioritizing, if that makes sense. So I, pro I talked to the person that could do it, but not the person that makes the decisions about whether they will do it. So maybe that was... But, mate, I'm just one dude. Trying to do my best. But I agree. Something like that. But I, I, but I want that in the filters. I don't want to have to go to a website. I actually think that... Yeah, just with the filters. Help me know where my next easiest PB is coming from. And I'm all about it. <coughs> yeah. I do my part, too, Hill. I, I don't take my... Uh, Position for granted, let's say. And try and maximize what I can do with it. Oh. <sighs> Shut up, don't mind. Yeah, now, I, when, when, I, when I had a chat, I was like, look, the, I said, like, look, look at the Discord bot. You've got stuff that relies on player input. If you could create that, create something, because the only reason we need player input is because we don't have access to the data. 
I said, if you've got the data and the end, like if it's already there, um, and there are limitations and policies across platforms and privacy and all those other things you've got to consider. But I'm like, man, there's so much potential uh, either just within the community <sighs> yeah, or, or as I say some feature in the game because like it's it's funny like on the dashboard I'd love to know if anyone actually uses it because on the dashboard it comes up and it's like oh this person beat your time but I don't know that doesn't motivate me I've never looked at anything on that dashboard and cared. Whereas, if I could see that there was like one, one track that I was like ten thousandth on, that I just forgotten to go back and, you know, just get a better run. Maybe I got a platinum easy and I just sort of left it. Um. Yeah. Anyway, stop talking. But yeah, that's something I'd still love to see done. to bring me back as a consultant pay me for my opinions uh dirt might um i've look 250 i think is the platinum and i've made it over 200 hey Aylin. hey Aylin. so alan do you think this Alan joke is going away, or do you think I'm going to just double down on it and go even harder? Let's see how much you've figured out, figured out about uh, who I am. Oh, by the way, it's Alan with two L's, though. You've got to spell it right. You got diamond on green belt? I'm definitely calling you Alan. Dude, that's, that's huge. I mean, in a weird way, I'm like proud of you. Because you'll even, you, you even say that I helped to sort of create you. But I can't take credit for that. That's all of your freakish uh, time, effort, and dedication. But seriously, man, congrats. That is a... Uh, is someone who can't pass the track... Oh, no, not true. I have passed it once on the helium at 150% speed. Um, so if you have diamond on it, it is incredible. Yeah, looks. I, I I take credit. Well, it was it's funny. The the actual motto for the University of Trials is helping people get better than me since two thousand and eleven, and that's pretty much what I've been all about. Um, oh, I hate this track so much, <laughs> Timmy. Yeah, I'm, I'm back, man. I'm doing this all over again. But anyway, so th this is the stream that I changed the the description of the uh, oh, of the stream today, and I'm like, look, if this, and I think when I tweeted this out, I'm like, if this isn't your thing, don't show up. But I did get basketball. I did just get basketball platinum in like 15 minutes. As horrible as it was, um, oh. I just find I th I I think this this would have been better if it just wasn't so damn like I just find this like unfairly like this this checkpoint for example is just unnaturally rough <sighs> uh basketball I don't think it's based on any luck. Um, 
go watch this VOD. I'll probably release it midweek next week. Um, I don't think it's based on luck at all. I figured out a technique that I think anybody anybody that is moderately good, uh, anyone that can bunny hop cleanly, is uh, yeah, anyone that bunny hops should be able to get platinum on basketball. No, I want to press restart now. So, what do you reckon? Um, I'm not sure if this was smart to stop, but I kind of just want to... No, I want to let the pressure go. I'm just like... I mean, so the cool thing is I've been here before. <clears throat> so, I don't think it really matters. And you know what? I've got... It's only 10 p.m. I've got like a, another two hours. So, if I can get here now... I can do it again. But I'd really like to hit it here. Nah. Stupid. Alright, so I've got to hit that front higher. It's alright. PBs. PBs. So I've just got to lift the front wheel up more, because when I hit that other ramp, it's going to... Uh... Sorry, that was a really big anti-climax, by the way, but... But like, look, it's like when you're learning a speed run, it's, uh, you kind of just have to grind it out until it becomes second nature almost. At least, yeah, so like the, the base track should just become, like, you you hit that pretty consistently, and then it's kind of like this, the time savers are the things you're really focusing on, and if you hit the time saver, then you get it. And this is pretty much the same. There's two or three sort of you know, checkpoints, if that's what you can call the spaces between safe zones, that are actually really hard. So that's it's kind of all I'm focused on right now. Oh, that was close. Yeah, so this is kind of like waiting for the waiting for the time savers. Nope. Mm. Hey Bam, what's going on? Later, Alan. Aiden, Josh. <laughs> Love. But now, Alan. A-L-L-E-N. You got to spell it right, because that's, that's how his Twitch name is. You can see the way he uses the the L and then the 1 to be like the second L. Um, so you, uh, if you respect him, you'll spell Alan with two L's. That's how I'd spell it. Oops. I went back and watched the VOD as I was uh, putting timestamps on because people are all about those timestamps. Um, man, my eyes were closed pretty much for the second half of that. I was so tired. Oh, no. Hmm. <clears throat> There's little stops and nerve wracking. Oh. Whew. 
Oh, man. <clears throat> Yeah, it did to me. It was, and it was on a run where I literally said, I'm not going to get it tonight. And then I was like quiet for the rest of the run and got it. But this is why, I mean, some, sometimes it's just a matter of, I mean, this is why trials people keep coming back to these tracks because it's like, you don't know if on your next run, like, like right now, I could get platinum on this. So if I go, uh, I'll finish up. This is this is why we do one more, one more track, one more run, one more attempt, one more fault because you don't know if your next run is going to be the run. So you keep chasing it, right? So that's why you you get back to that loading screen. You're like, just just one more, just just in case. I get it next run. And maybe you don't, but... And this is what I, I think I've always loved about this game. You can play it for five minutes. That's not a fault. You can play it for five minutes, or you can play it for two hours, and it's possible for you to achieve the same amount. Like, most tracks are 30, 40 seconds, right? Plus, you just get better and better the longer the play session. Ah, uh, uh, there's a graph... I, I kind of feel like you sort of start with a bit of warm up, you kind of hit like a bit of a peak, then you have a bit of a lull once you kind of overthink it. And then you kind of get good again, and then you get tired of it and you taper off at the end. So I, I kind of, that's, if I had to draw the graph, and I'm interested to hear what anyone else would think, but through a play session, you start slow, warm up kind of quickly to a reasonably good then you have a bit of a dip and then you get really good and then then it's, you've done too much like if you're trying to like speed run one track that's how i'd plot my progression and if by that sort of second hump of wow the second hump of awesomeness someone's got to design that graph for me but i can see it already there's two humps of awesomeness there's a small hump of awesomeness and then a large hump of awesomeness after the second hump of awesomeness you're done Oh, and then after, sorry, sorry. And then the third hump of awesomeness is after you haven't played the game for like two weeks and you come back and then there's like a massive spike and you're just awesome. And maybe I'm just talking nonsense and I'm a streamer, so I'm allowed to do that. I feel like it's encouraged, but uh, there's there's some science behind that. Yeah, well, Timmy, that's the third hump of awesomeness. I gotta say, this this certainly teaches you some good uh, some good throttle control. So that's a good skill game. But this jump, I hate that. <laughs> T Hill with the surprise um the surprise diamond. Surprise diamonds are the best. Um Delicious Knight. Welcome back. And I know everyone here wants to see me succeed. And I appreciate that. Oh, Oh, those brakes to be a little tighter. Oh, yeah, T-Hill. That's totally. Come on, with a name like Engorged. Figured you'd be good for two or three rounds easily. Yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of that, uh... Like, I feel like, yeah, I think they, I think they made the, uh, the platinum obstacles too difficult. I, I'd be fine. If that was diamond level, cool. I feel like for platinum. <coughs> I 
Like I, I would have replaced that big drop with like just a like a just a hill climb. Like you think trying to hill climb while doing a wheelie um, is tough, but so just like a long hill climb, I think would have been alright. Not stupidly steep, but you know that's that's tough to do on a on a front wheel. For a platinum, that would have been fair. I'm my my secret or my like superhero ability apart from this my superhero ability is making people want to play trials again because through me and I think through my persistence inspires people to be more persistent right so it's not rage quit but it's not effortless and I think this is the secret formula for me is that I can be good but I have to work for it you feel like sometimes you watch people and they're good but it just looks effortless and that and maybe you're just watching replays you're not watching the hard work they're putting in but and look some of them are just next level um, but yeah I, I kind of like to represent the good part of the average player and I probably shouldn't call myself average at all but um, but you know what I mean I think there's a humility and a humbleness and a yeah I can represent the everyman of like you know what just, just keep trying and you'll get it and break it down yeah so I, I kind of represent the hard workers more than the talented ones It's kind of how I, it's where I kind of fit in. <laughs> Timmy's getting the box right now. Go for it, dude. And the one thing that I love is going back. Just you, you can walk away from this game for months, and that's totally fine. But, but don't don't ever let it prop. Well, if it's gonna beat you, you have to really be okay with that because. It, It'll... <sighs> Try and I, it's perfect because I'm not talented. Hey, man. Welcome. Literally what the University of Trials is about. Um... Yeah, if you've got... If you've, like, set yourself... I mean, every, everyone... Most trials people set themselves sort of personal goals. For me, it's all platinums. Diamonds are a bonus. Nice to haves, whatever. Oh, I did it too early. Um, so I think for me, it's platinums, and I've got a few left. Now, what I'd really like, and I only thought about this recently, but there's going to be new tracks, and therefore new platinums to get with the next DLC. It would be nice to finish up these plats before the September 10, whatever it is. Crash and Sunburn DLC. So that gives me like two weeks to get three Platinums. Now, if I cared tremendously, I would do it. I'm not sure, but this is my second night in a row putting in a proper attempt at loose screw. So... Maybe I do care. Nope. <sighs> Those landings were of the shoot are frustrating. Oh, Blazing. It's horrible, but it's one of three 
Platinums I don't have. Actually, is it one of two now? I think it's is it one of I'm I'm confused. I know I've got this and the steel ball. Is it is it one of two? I think it is. Cripple! What's going on, bud? I got two? All right, cool. Yeah, so it's either this or the steel ball one. So I feel like... So this is the last... The last platinum for the base game. So let's let's look at it that way. I gotta get comfy. This is going to be a long night. For you, not for me. You're going to have to sit here and watch the same few checkpoints again. So hopefully the, uh, the, banter, the banter can be entertaining because the gameplay may not be. And I apologize for that on one hand, but then also I wouldn't be doing this without streaming people to chat to, so. Uh, I figured out one of the achievements, Franklin, which was to get a diamond on 66. So yeah, maybe if I need a break from this, I should go and look at that achievement. I should at least figure it out. Because then I guess... Yeah, I'm assuming then there must be new achievements coming as well. So yeah, it'd be nice to finish off all achievements. We've still got tons of contracts to do too. Twin Fire. Welcome back. Annoying. Sorry about the uh, sighing and moaning. That's less fun to hear, I know. Insane lane. What uh, what other game are you doing grinding on? Because I don't have any other game where I would put this level of effort into anything. Like, I just don't care enough. Uh-oh. As soon as I got that front wheel over that, I, fig I realized I stuffed it up. So this is the problem. I'm only getting to like the first of the hard checkpoints. Like one in every 10 or 20 attempts. Which I need to be pretty much getting there almost every time. See, that frustrates me. I just overshoot it a bit. Don't think I've ever played Destiny. It's funny, I, I really didn't play any games for almost the entire time I was working on this game. I, I didn't have, like, spare time. Like, I, I, I did, but... I don't feel like I played much in the way of other video games. Because Trials of Work was kind of my second job and that sort of took up all of my spare... my spare time, so... I should make some... And this is part of the reason why I started streaming Borderlands a little bit and I'll definitely be doing that after uh, 3 comes out. By the way, if anybody wants to play with me, uh, Borderlands 3, PC, probably. Um, let me know. I will be keen, I will be streaming, I won't mess up our Friday stream for Trials, but that's the only sort of Trials content I've committed to. Um, 
outside of that, it really just depends. But I'm, I'd, like, I'd like to have another night during the week when I stream, but it's hard to commit to because during the week, like, I've got to work the next day. Like, I know on Fridays, I can stay up late, I can stream. I don't want it to be Saturday nights, but they're the only two nights where I don't have school in the morning, so to speak. See, I should be able to make here consistently at least. That's too fast. But even that one, I can't even do that one consistently. I can't, ugh. All right, so once again, I'm now, I'm now at the stage where I don't feel like I'm going to get this tonight. <sighs> and by the way, if my persistence uh, is the thing that you like about me, you might want to turn away very shortly. Because I'm also human and man, this is doing my head in. No ho yo yo no as papas. <sighs> Pretty much from that checkpoint on, every one of them is inconsistent. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like, like, I don't feel like I'm progressing is my, my challenge, right? Yeah, let's, uh, let's everyone do loose crew together. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like after you played Trials for a while, while I don't know how you. I, I've kind. Of, I feel like I've lost that ability to like properly rage. Like I've done it in my past, but I don't know. I think the just the the amount of zero fault runs, platinum runs, like tournaments, like just. Having to have the mindset to get through them, to, to get through as much as we do and still, you know, have the nerve to finish the track. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's frustrating, but. Nah, Bam, I've, been, I've done too much with this. I've invested too much time on this bike now. And I'm far more comfortable with it. I've hit personal best with it. It's the right bike for me. He says faultingly. So in the back of my mind, I want to find out what this last achievement is. Oh. And try night, if you're uh, bad at wheelies. Yeah, you might not want to do this one. Or you might want to get good at uh, wheelies. I certainly feel like having wheelie skill here... Oh, I'm going to have to keep going. Damn it. Having wheelie skill here would probably be beneficial. Like if you were interviewing for a job, but this was your job, that would be in the highly desirable category. Previous wheelie experience. Yeah. No. Yeah. Preferred. Desirable. <sighs> oh. Yeah, this does just 
He says as he passes it. No! No! Less than five meters. But all right, I just got to go for it. So let me give you an insight into how I process that. Oh, yeah. There's a little nose mic. <clears throat> this, this to me is like the Inferno one fault run when you're trying to zero it. Um, it's kind of like... Like it's like it's frustrating, but I've just been here so many times on so many tracks. Like emotionally, I'm like I, like that gives me confidence to know that I've got it. As as demoralizing as it is, I look at the positive. I look at the optimistic side of that to say, hang on, if I can get two twenty, like it's not like the thing that like that next five meters to me isn't impossible because I've I got there. I've done it. That gives me confidence. It's crushing to get that close to it like tripping over at the finish line and then face planting and everyone overtakes you but i don't know i kind of look at it now and it's like this actually makes me relax because it's sort of like no run like the only runs that i care about now are personal bests and obviously the medal at the 225 the gap between my personal best and 225 is negligible so it's kind of like once you get a one fault run on a hard track, it's like, well, anything, one or more faults, it just doesn't matter. So you just, just burn through those ones. So the next personal best is also going to be my plat. So it's like, just keep going for the personal best. Don't don't worry about anything less than it. Just keep doing it. <sighs> anyway, that's how I process that. Now, the worst thing is I could get Platinum on the next run or I could do this for another two hours. And I mean, and that's trials, right? You just don't know. But I had to go confidently, right? Um, that's kind of the... With that last bit, you have to go hard and confident if you if you get to that last bit and change your technique or try and you know be conservative and slow and careful that's when you're gonna fault just go just go hard so when i get there i'm just gonna go hard for it but pretty much have to make that next safe zone to get the platinum which is so difficult Oh, I didn't think I hit that. So if anybody is going to the Ubisoft experience in Sydney, Australia, on the 14th and 15th of September, please let me know. I will be running competitions. There will be a sweet custom uh, Trials Rising controller to give away, uh, along with uh, some other goodies. Nope. Nope. Tell me why, Dirt Might. I'll do it after this run, but tell me your thought process. Why are you suggesting that? Is it just to mix it up? Is it to make it feel fresh?
it's gonna take a minute. Yeah, that's fair. I can't even get started. But this is what I mean, I've kinda invested too much in this. In the helium, like I, I can't even get the the sensitivity right. But that's fair. I think if you really want to mix it up, let's do the uh, squid. Have a few roach runs. Oh, I hate hitting my back on that. Enjoying this, don't mate. The thought was good. It's funny, this is the new pipe phobia. Oh. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. I might try the rhino or something just to. See how far I can get on the donkey. Now that's mixing it up. It's funny, I used to on the mantis I do that slowly. Ooh, nice brakes. Hmm, <laughs> nah, I'm out of that. Not enjoying that, but let's go and do some other stupid bike for a second. <clears throat> <coughs> I gotta do dunk. Let's see if I can even do one. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's right. It's like going for a run in like... Like you got like a white vest and stuff on. And then... Yeah, you start running around again just in shorts and t-shirt. I was like, yeah. Look how awesome I am. Whoops. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> hey, man. There you go. That's, that's not bad. All things considered, that's not bad. Oh, I'm getting tired again. All right. Oh, my God. This is just old man shady. Mind you, I was up till 2 or 3 in the morning. Like, I finished my stream. And then, I think went and watched the movie. Oh, wow. This has no brakes and no acceleration. You have to exaggerate every... Oh, my God. The brakes are shockingly bad. Oh, wow. Nasil, How you doing? Good to have you here. If the cart's available, I would have gone that too. Mm. 
Trolley. Trolley. Einkauf's wagon or trolley. That's it. No, I think I, f I feel like this bike is an actual contender. Like when I was doing the uh, hard wheeling on Fusion, I think I used the Roach. It was doable. Could you bidgey bidgey bidgey? Hey, doing buddy? Um, with one controller? No, you can do it with one person. But you need a controller. Now again, if you're on PC, I guess you can do it with keyboard, so... Alright, I've done everything. Hey, easy. Mmm... Here we go again. Nope. Oh, I, um, they announced the panel that I'm going to be talking at, at the, uh, the Ubisoft experience. I should get you the, uh, let me just get you the press release for a second. Because it was funny. Just when they wrote up who I am. Um, so this, this is what they wrote about me. Uh, it's about the, the about Fat Shady. Um, one of the most recognizable faces in the Trials communi community, Brad introduced Trials Rising at E3 2018 in front of millions of viewers worldwide. Brad's YouTube channel, The University of Trials, was featured in Trials Rising as the official tutorial mode. Yeah. That's me. Um, and what's funny, I was at the bottom of the list. Because the person immediately above me is a YouTuber with 1.1 million subscribers and then like uh, editor-in-chief at, uh, at one of a big sort of gaming website, co-managing editor at another one, Australia's most prominent streamers with 8 million subs. Now again, I'm, I'm adding the, the sub counts in here, but just to show you who it is, managing director of Ubisoft Australia. Um, associate narrative director at Ubisoft Montreal. Um, you know, all of the people above me are like way more important, and I was the last on the list. So you know how, like in the credits, the most important people at the top, I was last. I was la laughed. I maybe laughed at, but I was the last. So that gives you an idea of uh, where I fit among the uh, who, who are the famous people that are going to bring star power to uh, the Ubisoft experience. I'm the last one. Happy to be there, by the way. But yeah, it's, it's funny. I got 14,000 subs on YouTube. The dude I'm going to be sitting next to on the panel is 1.1 million. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, me and him, we're both YouTubers. It's true. Right? And, and I have every right to be on the panel. But it's just... And I guess, you know, that's not... And this is where that... Like, you know, you can't use metrics like that to measure success or your contribution to something or just how you even value yourself um it means nothing i've uh i've taken my passion it's got me all around the world i've met some amazing people and i as far as i'm concerned climbed everest in creating a youtube channel that ended up getting featured in a video game now yeah that that that's how i measure my sort of success but yeah, it's just it's just interesting um and especially when i've had people say like i did an interview once for like a kids mag and because they're like oh like you're a youtuber give some advice to the kids about you know how to become a youtuber and i'm like oh I, I can but yeah not, not not big at all but then again I, I can remember i mean before e3 i had half the number of subscribers i have now so 
and that was what just over a year year and a bit ago oh i got cocky sorry there's a question i want to come back to about being nervous at e3 i just want to actually pay slight attention here i don't know why this run but no okay um Yeah, Quidgy, that's fair. I, I, I'd heard of... Yeah, the, the guy on the panel is a Just Dance guy, so I hadn't heard of him just because I haven't really associated with the Just Dance community apart from a, a brother and sister team that I was at E3 at 2013 who were Just Dance people and are just the nicest humans. But outside of that, don't really know much. Um, oh yeah, Zwedgin. I'm stoked, man. The best thing for me is it's only a, it's less than a week before the Ubisoft experience that I'm going to be at, so I will get to play the uh, DLC with the fine folk who turn up in Sydney. Um, so, Dirt Mike, were you nervous at E3? Dear God, like you have never, you have never experienced nervousness until you have to walk out in front of a stage in front of a live audience that has somewhere between half a million and a million people. You secretly put your Twitter in a Trials 101 tutorial? Well, it's technically in all of them. You just have to wait long enough for it to cycle through the, the dialogue. I did, do you know what? I haven't really talked about this, but I ha there is a very small other hidden thing that no one knows about yet. Very small. That no one knows. I made a video about it and I may never release it. We'll see. There's a little teaser for you. Did you make tutorials for Ninja Tracks? Your videos helped get golden extremes so thank you uh no so unfortunately no i haven't uh i did make a notorial which is uh effectively what i'm terming a not a tu tutorial um yeah so that isn't something that i've really invested time in yet Oh, I hate that one. That one frustrates me because it just feels silly. Dude, Twinfire, you haven't unlocked ninjas yet? Get on that. Get on that. That's better. All right, I think I think I've had enough of this now. <sighs> this is getting that's frustrating because I got so close there, but that might be my best for this session. Cl Klondike and Inferno, right? Klondike's hard because it's long and Inferno is hard because it's Inferno. Now, you know what I might do? I might go and have a have some attempts at the steel ball. Just to mix it up a bit and then come back here. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta have a break. I need to have a break. <coughs> Alright. Let's let's go steel ball. And so this is the hard thing for me now. Is that the only actually what's the 350? So what bike is this? What's the what's the recommendation here? Do we go helium in here as well? 
I guess because it's grippier and more responsive. I'm going to try that. Yeah, Torrin, man. I, I get that. Um, I, ha I have found helium better. So this one's frustrating me because I feel like my years of Trials HD should have equipped me better for this skill game, but the track design is actually really difficult. Oh, stupid. Uh, yeah, I can show you hill climb, but what do you, like, what, you want to see my replay? Or, like, of my best, or you want me to just run it for a bit? Hang on. I felt something climbing on my foot. In Australia, it could be a spider, so... Um, yeah, let me let me run this for a bit first. But yeah, all right. Zwedgen. I can do that. Wow, nice save. All right, I saw the question from Ethereus, but I can't read it now. I'm in the middle of something. I'm in the middle of a platinum run. Uh, yeah, they're common in Australia. Uh, speaking of HD, I'm curious your perspective, which was harder, Midnight Club Platinum Way of the Machine? Hang on, Midnight... So Midnight Club is a tournament, and Way of the Machine, did you sure you don't mean... Oh, the other tournament? Midnight Club is... Are you... No, if, well, if you mean... If you mean what you've written, Midnight Club is way harder than Way of the Machine. Midnight Club is six tracks with like five faults and Way of the Machine, granted it's zero fault, but no, Midnight Club is so much harder. Like, infinitely harder. Like, look, Way, way, of, way of the Machine, Platinum... I think it did end up taking me a couple of weeks to get, but way of uh, but Midnight Club was I feel like a lot longer. Uh, all right, just because you're here, Zwedgin. I need a break anyway. Let's just have some fun. I'm gonna keep coming back to this. Come on, Torrin, the, Auss the Aussies are the, uh... But it is funny, like, you talk, like, everyone talks about all these venomous things. But, like, we're also, like, one of the most laid-back people in the world. Or at least we like to think we are. But we're pretty chill. It is nice just doing something where there's no real fear of failure. Like, it just doesn't matter. That's kind of refreshing. She'll be right. True. She always is. Every one of those should have been a fault. Oh uh, no, I didn't want to hang my tire up there. <sighs> That's gonna happen. Camo! Glad you uh, caught it. Yeah, so Quidgy talks about she'll be right. 
Well, it's actually she'll be right, mate. Um, but uh, oh, comedian did a a bit about uh, one of the other things we say is too easy. You know, someone asks us to do something, oh, too easy. Um, so we sort of like, you know, ask someone to, you know, give them a lift to the airport. Oh, too easy. So we'll do it blindfolded then. Shut up. And I actually, I, one thing I find really interesting, even for myself, like the whole g'day thing, you'd think that, and I, I don't, I don't hear many other people use it, but I use g'day like all the time, like at, like at work. I, I, I could legit just use it as part of my vocabulary, and it's, yeah. Uh, so camo, no, I'm not going for plat. Um, Zwedgen just asked me to just play it for a bit of fun, to be honest. Um, I've only, I've got two platinums left in the game. Both are skill games. One is loose screw, and the other is the steel ball from the '66 DLC. So I'm just having a break from both of them. But this is long. Like, really long. Ah, Swedgen. No problems. Was either this or just sigh and pretend to be calm and uh, persistent and not incredibly frustrated, so... Because here's the challenge. Now I've got, like, this image of someone that's, like, cool, calm, and collected and... You know, persistent, but you know, never gets overly frustrated. As I've said, if you guys weren't here, oh, it might look different. So, is there any reason why Zwedgin you wanted to see this? Haven't faltered. I could recover from this. You just want to see success. I mean, th there you are. That's success. <sighs> no, I was going to try and recover from that, but that ain't happening. Look how high up I was. Oh. I tried to recover Twin Fire. Hit my head instantly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, look, I'll do orange, orange Belt just for a change of pace, but I'm really bad at it now. I haven't played it for so long. Um, yeah, I kind of suck, but sure. Sure, no harness pompous. Mmm. Alright, this is going to be embarrassing. I tried to talk someone through it one time and couldn't even pass the track. Mini Troll Sticker! Shin Phoenix, what's up? Good job. Oh, that's not fair. I remember how hard this is actually. Yeah. It's weird. I didn't think this first checkpoint was as hard as it actually is. Ah, oh, stupid shady. You 
Okay, because you, you have to hit a bunny hop off the second one. Like, you kind of have to get up there, get your front wheel up, transition to your back, and then have enough power to kind of cleanly hit. Like, you kind of roll up to there, and then you need to get up it. But because of the angle of it... Whoop. Oh, I got lucky. Yeah, because of the angle of it, it's actually quite tough. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, couldn't be bothered. I remember how tough this... This thing is weirdly difficult. Like the margin for error to get up to that is so small. I mean, it's doable. I will say, playing so much of uh, Loose Screw has helped my... Uh, what's he? My Mantis control, right? Because you think, what have, I, what have I been doing for the last two nights? Sorry, Mantis. Uh, helium. I hate this checkpoint just because of how it makes you pass it. And then you don't hit the checkpoint unless you go backwards. Uh, stupid. Thought I had that. Easy. All right, and this is where it gets hard. Uh, Quidgy. Yeah. I, I am doing everything in my power to milk everyone out of their money. So if there is a way... Oh, that was it. If there is a way that I can do something that's going to result in me raising more money for the charity that I'm trying to raise money for... I'm in. Oh, so you know there's two ways to get over this. The first is like a really good rear wheel bounce like that. And you kind of get up here. <laughs> I mean, that recovery was insane. And then, and then from here, it's kind of, you know, your normal that thing. So let's pretend that I got over because I did. But then, there's this ridiculous way to do it that way, as well. Which is equally nuts. So, there's the fender technique. Um, it's just a really big, really big bunny hop and straight up. And it is starting to get consistent for me now, now that I understand it. So the key for me is actually roll back a little bit because what tends to happen, you hit down too low and you just don't make it distance. So by doing that, but really, and you want to hit the front brake, but you also, when you bunny hop, you also want to be pretty hardly, hardly, very significantly leaning forward as after you bunny hop to get up like that. And you still look, and that, and that technique, to, be, to go from a fender to get up to here, is still a very difficult technique to do. But yeah. And there's a very, very, very small margin for error. 
And you kind of need to bounce on the front suspension as well. Um, and now I can't do it, right? But anyway, you get the idea. And it probably is... I think if you can figure it out, it probably is more consistent than that. But I think either of them... Either of them work. I was just showing off at that point. There you go, there's orange belt. 60 odd volts, but some of them were at least me teaching stuff. Yeah, I didn't even know about the uh, Fender for a little while, so. I like that University of Trials, Franck, France. It's kind of cool. I always love seeing, man, if I like just stumble across a random like uh, Uni of Trials sticker somewhere, I get so excited. All right, Quidgy, what do you got to me? What do you what do you got to me? what have you got for me? I got top five. What? Gamo, how man? I got like top eighty, and I was impressed. So what time did you get? Did you get like over a minute or something? Bit of a mystery you can't solve. Let's go. I'm all yours, man. I, I'm I'm sick of these. I'm sick of these skill games. So. What do you got for me? And I can't wait for them to be tracks down here. Ooh. Uh, where, where's Seaside? US? Assuming it's coast. All right. Got one minute, four seconds. Wow, dude, that's huge. Yeah, I got like 48 seconds. My best before that was 28 seconds. So, I mean, it still requires skill, but there's an element of luck that you kind of just... All right, where do I go? Not backwards, I assume. Oh, there. So that one? There's a sign, even though I can't see it from here. How do you make it disappear? You said... Huh? It happens on the whole track. What do you mean? You said it turns invisible. Try a smaller veil? What? You're just into... Like into here? It turned invisible. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I can't bail. <laughs> no matter where I bail. Okay. I'm just going to lay here for a bit. Have a nap under the ramp. It doesn't disappear. What do you, what do you mean? Okay. 
get to the second ring? What? And bail, so you can still see the black on the screen. Oh, okay, like here. Ah, oh, and then it's disappeared. Is that what you mean? Is that... No, it was on the wrong ramp. So the bike disappears. Is that what you mean? I was thinking the bike sign was disappearing. I don't think that's a mystery. Isn't that just normal normal behavior the bike just disappears when you fall or does it stay there sometimes so if i go away from it now yeah i, I yeah i don't know if that's but you're saying it only happens on this track so if it only happens on this track maybe yeah okay so that's that's really the question notion so look if i stay here I think it's just distance from the rider, okay? So if we're close to it, it stays. Yeah, I went further away from it there, and look, it disappeared. I'm gonna do that. I've got a theory. I think it's when the bike hits a ch well. See when the it's, I think it. I think it's. I mean, certainly when the bike hits the checkpoint. See, if the bike hits the checkpoint without you. It disappears. So it's not distance related. Yeah, so... Okay, let's, uh, let's check multiple checkpoints firstly. Is it just this checkpoint or is it others? So it's got a few checkpoints down. Uh, let's try this one. See, again, same thing. <sighs> so... Okay. So, yeah, alright. Actually, let's, let's try this. So when I'm nearby it, it doesn't. But it's not... It's definitely not checkpoint related because we can do it here. So it's weird. Bef like, before the first... Yeah, so... Uh, so before the first checkpoint, when you get off it, it seems to be some sort of distance-related thing. Because if I just do it here... Yeah. So, before the first checkpoint, it disappears before... Like, uh, distance-related. So if I'm, like, here... Touching it, it doesn't disappear. If I just... That was a bit more distance, but I think... That one would have disappeared. In front of it, it kind of stays. But that's if I keep the bike on screen. If the bike's off screen, maybe not. But if I try and stay close to it, it kind of stays. But then if I launch... 
a bit of distance it goes, and then after the checkpoint. So let me try and get after the first checkpoint. Well, let me try and go. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm just being thorough on this one to find out what the conditions are, and then we'll go to another track for sure. Uh, and what about after a checkpoint? Okay, so that was not checkpoint related. That was back to being distant. So no, it seem it seems to be. That disappeared again. Okay. There is some weird but kind of consistent behavior happening on that track for the bike to disappear. Okay, so let's go to another 66 track. Okay, I mean, look, it, it's, it's a mystery. I hadn't noticed it. I hadn't really paid attention to it. You need trials. Ramen noodle. What's up? Now this might be harder. To, I should have probably picked an easier track. <laughs> I just disappeared. Okay. Let me see if I can find. Is there a flat section in this track that I can... So it's seaside meltdown as well, okay. Because I don't, I don't, gut feel is it's not a secret thing, but I feel like they've just done something wrong to the bike. See that? I need to... See, it doesn't happen there. It, it falls apart, but that falls apart because it's on fire. Yeah, okay, okay. So it doesn't seem to happen on other tracks. I mean, I'll, I'll test another one. And we'll go back to Seaside. So, yeah, and what I'm thinking is the Seaside tracks may have been built in the same track with just different variations, which means that whatever the thing is... Hey! Goofies! Coffees. Um, yeah, so, like, if this is built... Yeah, if, if, if there's something about the way they've just set up and configured the track or built some there might be just something programmed to make it do it that they've reused on the seaside tracks without realizing that that's a, a bug because this ain't happening anywhere i mean it's, it's a cool and interesting little pickup you've got Yeah, it doesn't happen there. All right, so I think it could be a seaside thing. Now, the funny thing is, if I had my buddy Dev build, I could just open up the track and have a look at it and see if I can spot anything. Not that I'd understand it, but still. Where's the other seaside? I'm assuming on the coast. So if this, yeah, if this is built in the same sort of environment. I think we're wasting time on a bug, but hey. Yeah, so this is the same track, it's just different time of day. It doesn't happen there. Uh, yeah. No, re see, replay cam is not going to give it to you. You need to see the the track in the editor. But I, I I deleted my dev build because I wanted to. 
play the game on PC and it's still corrupted. There's some files in my computer somewhere that whenever I load up just a full retail copy of the game, it shows me some crazy, weird, not supposed to be there stuff. It's not happening here though. Oh no, there it did. Alright. I'll tell you something interesting. In a minute. Hey, Dirty, what's going on? I'm working on a crazy Quijibo theory right now. Yeah, it's been fire. I mean, I've got people I can talk to to get help. I just couldn't be bothered. Okay, so it's still happening here. I've got one, one little observation that... Oh, nice. So I'm going to go watch that replay, but... I mean, there's not going to be anything, but... So what, what, what I was just thinking about, which is interesting, is that there is a... There's a no bike sign at the start of the other track. So I was just looking through this track to say, is there any more no bike signs anywhere? Okay, so the squirrel's there. Which I'd forgotten about. Oh, okay, and you've got to go backwards here, okay. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It'd be nice if I could find another no bike sign. Like, if there was another no bike sign on this one. Alright, I'm going to go back and look at the other one because I think it's more more about the other track than this one it, because of the no bike sign. Bullet fan, greeting from the Corn Palace City. Huh? I don't know what that is. Cause I mean that that no bike sign is.
usually a thing. I want to do this. Ah. The bike disappeared again. Is it a detour? It's not going to be it, but... I mean, it'd be awesome if there was something here, but hey. Oh, but they'd make this. They would have made this easier. Because now I've sort of flipped around. I can't seem to go the other direction. Just worm backwards. I mean, I assume this is absolutely nothing, but hey. I do I do miss this type of exploring around a track for no good reason. <laughs> what, am, what am I doing? Oh, no, I'm going to fall there. No! And that just goes off the edge of a cliff. It's the journey, not the destination. True. Yeah, Paul, that's a fair comment. I'm not getting out of that. And this... Alright, let's... It's an interesting thing, but yeah, got feel it's a bug, but it is weird. There's no bikes, but again, it could just be no bikes because they're trying to say we don't want people riding bikes here. Let me just yeah, I'll play this. We'll jump in the editor and uh, the replay, and we'll see what we find, but. slow down to let that happen yeah got feel it's nothing Yay! except the dude riding a shark <laughs> Paul uh, I have no idea what I'm searching for. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so if I went over, the, if I hadn't made it over the back of that, that's what I was in for. So chances are there's nothing here.
No, but you slow down for the time saver, right? Dude on the shark is having fun. Who's that? Is that... Is that part of the squirrel? Uh, is that part of the squirrel? That's just the squirrel? Okay, what, so where, where is the squirrel though? Is it hanging off that or something? Or is that open that something up? Anyway, alright, cool. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. See, if it was me, I'd hide something in one of these. Anyway. Pulls you to the squirrel. Okay, cool. I think we're done. Quidgy. It is odd. Oh, I'll ask one level designers. Oh, my phone. Damn it. My phone's got no battery. Yeah, Quidgy, I, I liked I liked the possibility of finding something. Later, Ethereus. Later. No, let's go achievements. I'm I've got one achievement left. Oh really, Bullet? That's cool, man. Alright, I'm going to find this achievement. Hold on. What were you doing with the riddle? Like, what were you looking for? How do you search? <coughs> all right uh all right i'm just gonna have to go through them all okay i have beat the heat that's the secret spelunka yes do i have infinite number of realities yes do i have i'm your huckleberry Ooh. Ooh. I think that's it. Oh, are you kidding me? It's a freaking 66 squirrels. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I couldn't remember if I've got them. I clearly haven't. Um, so, does anybody remember, does anybody remember where the squirrels are? Uh, no, uh, it's Weetard. No, I have not done Greenbelt. Uh, did I know they put a fifth key in Fusion? Yeah, dude, I, I made a video about that that hit front page on, uh, the video subreddit. Sort of blew up. As far as I'm concerned, 140, 120, 130,000 views in like a day or two. Um, so yeah, yeah, I spotted that. Uh, 
collectibles filter. Oh, that's right, because I don't even need to cheat, do I? Or do I need to... Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I forgot all about this. Thank you. Sweet. <laughs> that's why I didn't recognize the damn balloon. Because <laughs> I haven't got it yet. <laughs> like, like, I'm not... Like, I... I like to think of myself as moderately intelligent. I have a freaking master's. I manage a team of people and sometimes, I mean, mind you, that doesn't necessarily indicate uh, intelligence, but I like, I like to think of myself as not stupid and then I do crap like that. Okay, there's the bird. So it's a little bit after that. I need to get a drink by the way. Is it here? Or is it after another big, uh... It's up there somewhere. Hey, Cos, what's going on? Yeah, I need to grab a drink. I'm just trying to find out where this is. I can't see this thing. There it is. So it's just in front of that. So, ah, it must be further on, later on in the track. Alright, so, so how about this? No spoilers. Unless I specifically ask for help. Let me, uh... Let me figure these out. So it's not there. Okay, CP6. Oh, cool. Oh, look. What? Oh, those birds are like. So I've got to avoid the bombs. Okay, cool. Whoa. Wow. Okay. This is unexpected. <laughs> I had no idea. I've never seen this. Oh, they're fast. Okay, so there's last ones. I need to... I gotta get a drink for this. Nah, no small hints. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no small hints unless I... And I probably will get impatient because I don't really care about squirrels that much, but why not, right? I just found a whole bunch of fun content in this game that I haven't got yet. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Don't wait. It's got a, it, is, it is that gap. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna get this one and I'm gonna get a drink. Okay, so I can't change. All I've got is side to side movement. I can't change the speed. I can't change nothing but the angles. Can't hit the bombs. Go up here. Ah, uh, it's just gone too far away. Oh, wow. Wow. Sweet. There we go. All right, I'm getting a drink. I'm actually looking forward to this now. How many have I got? Like 14 of them. There's a bunch. There's no more 60. Oh, no. What's the achievement? I thought the achievement had four. Oh, I think that's just the, how many. Um... Oh, 14 squirrels and 66. Huh? There's not enough track.
There's only eight, unless I've already found some. Yeah, maybe I already found some. Maybe. Okay, let me get a drink. I'll be back in one second. Bullet fan, good question. I don't know the answer. A fatal's here. What's going on? I kind of feel like I'll do Track Central when um when I'm uh, done with the stuff in the game that I want to get through, and I'm always kind of like this. If I've got contracts, I've got platinums, I've got stuff that I'm still trying to do. Hmm. I kind of feel like I want to hit that first. But in saying that, I am still raising money for Are You Okay? And where you donate, I kind of, you get a uh, request. So, I guess. Alright, so this is kind of cool. Because, oh, that drone something? Nope. If I was hiding a squirrel here, I would have been backwards off of that. Good luck finding this one. That's where I would have put it. That's well, one of my many ideas. Yeah, so I would have put it there. I like the the logo for the gas is like a dude on fire. So I should, probably should talk through my... Oh, nothing there. So there's an open sign for that building, but you can't really get off the driving line, so... I mean, that's intriguing to me, but probably nothing. Now there's usually a, an audio clue of sorts. So I'm kind of, I'll turn this, oh actually, when that drone was there, I'll turn the volume up a little bit. Oh, that, I feel like it launched me up higher than normal. Yes, fatal. Yep, I will... I will ask for hints. At some point. I just double check that. Oh, 
So, I have seen drones. So part of me is thinking that there is maybe a drone doing something. I'm also just looking out for anything on the driving line that's moving. So definitely thought there'd be something down there. There isn't. Everyone's saying it's well hidden, so that's that's a concern. Already checked under that. So that drone. I feel like that drone's the hint. No, but it's not in the same spot. Maybe you have to wait. That's right. Some of these ones you have to wait. It did launch me. Quite a bit. Maybe not here. Maybe this checkpoint. It felt like that launched me here more than normal. And I feel like if I can grab onto a drone seat. No, it's that 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 is boosting me up higher than it should. I can't just randomly... Ah, let it do. I mean, yeah, this... This does feel like that's launching me up. No, that's effortless. There's something there. There is definitely something here. But there is no... So that would be awesome. You go up here. Now right, I'm going to see if I can go as far as I can. Something here. So if I go that way, doesn't really help me. Alright, there's something there. This is definitely it. Alright, first hint, just because I'm positive there's something to do with that jump that is it. So, without spoilers, is that jump and that checkpoint part of the squirrel because otherwise I'm going to sit here for 10 minutes doing the same thing oh. no how is that not part of it but like that's weird though why is it doing that oh my god really
Yeah, I am, I am concerned about how many people are saying it's well hidden. Been there before. So next thing I'm thinking about, it's like a roll backwards. Somewhere. So here, because the flames go out. And then you've got to roll backwards. Hmm. Is it really fun though? That launched me quite a ways, but that wasn't it. So the next thing I'm thinking is that it's got the golden glow. Oh, is it under... Okay, so maybe it's under this tire stack. But I have to, like, land... Somehow. I'm even just looking around now for any like little glowing things. I just like how I held on to that. Um. I already tried this, didn't I? Going that way. Yeah, I did. Alright, uh, under here. Because I know that the the um, the golden glow of it would be hidden in the flame, so that would be a sensible thing. Let us Cecil. Oh man, enjoy, enjoy. Everything should be customizable. Like to have a game with so much customization and then create cool items but then not let you customize them just seems unnecessary. So I'm just looking around.
All right, so if this run. Like I said, I thought that. Oh, why does that go on fire? That's weird, isn't it? No, it's like normal fire now. over and under the tires oh yes hell yeah mm. damn that's well hidden i didn't even see that pipe didn't even see it um but i was just like maybe i thought it was just under here but then wow did not even see that there you go, Quidgy. That was fun. That was that was good. This is actually going to be fun string. Considering how it started, this would be fun now. See, I don't even know. Like, I really want to get those um those last couple of platinums on stream, but. I almost, I almost don't want to because I just want to concentrate on them and but it'd be more fun if you see me hey the bike disappeared okay nothing there So first pass, I'm looking around for squirrel signs, and like some, something obvious. It feels like the type of one that we're rolling backwards would be sensible. At a strategic point. Oh, but it's... This is to do with the riddle standing up here. So yeah, this this is a riddle thing, not not a squirrel thing. So I can't hear anything. Uh, jump on the plane, maybe? No, the plane's already gone. Does the plane fly through here? I'm waiting now. This one's too easy, another hard one. Nothing to do with the car from what I can see. I found the last one. You guys are expecting me to find them. Hey, devils, what's going on? So 
seems to be nothing there. There's a cow. Why is there a cow going down that? Seth! Why is there a cow going down that? Has that cow always been there? Never noticed the cow before. Was that at a, a later on checkpoint or is that back at the start? And how do you get the cow to come back? Yeah, that cow. Sometimes there'll be a cow. Oh, it's up there. There you go. There you go. Oh, but backwards. Yeah. I just saw it. Sometimes it sometimes it a random cow. There we go. Wow. I didn't want to miss it. I am so smart. I am so smart. S M R T. I mean, S M A R T. This is good. All right, next one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me go backwards. It's back here. I can hear it. I'm crawling because I fell off the bike. I'm hoping it lets me hit it. <laughs> yeah, man. I like it the hard way. <laughs> Oops, wrong bike. See, I'm pretty smart. I told you I was pretty smart. Hey, devils. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. Do I hook up to this? How do I just sit there for a second and it attaches the bomb and then I've got to do something? <sighs> yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Oh, 
Oh, the cable's still going. I feel like I've lost the cable now, so... Yeah, ideally no spoilers. But I would have got to the cable in a second anyway. The so cable re-emerged there. But then it doesn't go up here unless it's that switch. Oh no, the cable's there. And then the ca ah, oh, of course, idiot. Now I'm assuming backwards. Oh, basically back to the start of the track, right? Smooth. Yeah, because that... I get it. I get it. Hey, Cider Man. What's going on? Oh, sweet. Yeah, I, I wanted to go for Platinums, but um, I figured I'll go for the last achievement. Hey, Seth. I think I said hello before already. But anyway, hey! Notions here. All the cool people. Right. Always go backwards to start. It. Oh! I mean, that is what would happen to you. This feels necessary. Is that gonna take me to risk? No! It's just that. So that was just fun. But that seemed like it could have been a possibility. Oh, I want to go inside this trailer. No, I want to go backwards here. I don't want to go backwards here anymore. Oh yeah, I know my, my shirt. Uh, I didn't really plan this out. I usually think a little bit more. How long am I on for, Cider Man? Uh, I mean, it's midnight. I mean, less less than an hour. But, I don't know. What is... What am I holding on to? Something magic? Okay, I didn't find it. Oh, is that not going down now? Does that only go down when I... Huh? 
Ha ha ha. You cheeky cheeky squealy. Bullet fan, don't make me uh, explain time zones to another person. GG's to me, please. Damn, I'm close. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, wow, I'm so close to diamond. But I, I know how much effort I put in to get that time. Getting diamond is going to be ridiculous. All right. Always backwards. Always backwards. Ooh. This looks promising. Nope, I'm dead. I want to grab the car. That would have been a fun one. Does it come back? Alright. Again, if it was me, I would have made you have to grab one of the cars. So if it's not there, is it somewhere else? down here. It's underneath me. There it is. Yeah, I can see it straight away. Just the way the the track. So I don't know what... Oh, man. This is fun. You know, Red Links made a game that looked exactly like this called Draw Race. How much of a Red Links fanboy are you? Have you played Draw Race before? I'm not making that up, am I? That was a real thing. Hmm. Sweet. Yeah, I'd never seen that either. <laughs> Devils. And I love how in context, if you just take a screenshot of those comments, it's like, well, Bullet, you know, Devils goes through his speech and then Bam goes, wow, I've never seen this. As if he's referring to uh, that. That specific time. How you create a baby clock. Oh, I'm so tempted to get another one cider. Wait, that was wrong. It's not backwards. No, Devils, you, you, I mean, you're right. I mean, I appreciate you keeping it uh, PG because, you know, it is, it is a family-friendly stream. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're spot on. That's how baby clocks are made. All right. This feels like another one where I want to go backwards. There. 
try and grab onto that wire, I guess. That doesn't look necessary. Or fun. So I'm just going to assume that wire does nothing. in the background for anything might be of actually it's a big aha uh -huh. there you are I don't know where I'm going yet but there you are end of a crane later notion thanks for hanging out sweet what do I have to let go? No. I have to let go. Nice. Cowboy Squirrel Man. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Sorry if that was too loud, but I don't think it's possible for that sound to be too loud. Yeah, man. That's it. That is my... Oh. <sighs> Done it. And hopefully more in like two weeks. So does that... Did I already have that outfit? Yeah. Sorry, I must have already had that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't unlock anything new. Life is complete. It's not. I'll show you why it's not. That's why it's not. Because I still have two skill games. Two skill games. Mm. Oh, nothing worse. That's empty. Welcome to the Elite. So, actually, I should just check this. We're going to talk achievements. Uh, just want to check something. So, rising, I have 100%. HD, 100%. Evo, 100%. Fusion, 100%. Okay, cool. Cool. All achievements. Except, okay, so Trials 2 Special Edition is how far back I'd have to go to find a Trials game where I don't have all the achievements. Make sure you use the Rhino on Steel Ball. Really? Okay. Let's go, Camo. I trust you. I don't know if I should trust you, but I do currently. So this will be the test to see if you earned that trust. Oh, you, oh man, I wish I was in San Francisco or, or Santa Clara to be specific. I wish. This time of year, my word. Yeah, but come on. Nobody in San Francisco talks like this. Not with this accent, anyway. Actually, I like telling people that they have an accent. I don't. You're top 50. Part of me can tell, Camo, that you're really helpful. But you're... Oh, okay, so this is... Yeah, okay, so you've got to be... Re oh. You scared me.
Okay. And that is how we end the stream. We got to hang out with the little one again. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Checking out the channel if you haven't already. Uh, links below. I'll post it up again and links in the comments. Are you okay? Charity fundraising drive. That didn't work, did it? Yes, it did. Um, going till the 1st of September. A couple of days left. Get in if you can. If you haven't already, then I appreciate it. If you can't, I still appreciate the thought. So please don't feel obligated to. But I'm trying to get to my goal simply because my employer, my real life employer, has told me they'll match it dollar for dollar. Apart from that, I'm gone. I'm going to hang out with Micro Shady. Let's go raid some awesome Trials Community person. Drumroll, please. It's going to be... It's going to be... Tom Ward. Because it's the only person streaming Trials right now. Apart from me. So Tom's going to appreciate this. He better. Let's make him. Uh... Yellow shady, yellow hoodie shadies if you got them, or as uh, Blue Badger calls them, discount Pokemons. Um, jump in on this raid. Let's go see Tom. I'm going to hang out with Micro Shady and get some sleep. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, more to come.